All right, hello and welcome to a special Vikings bye week episode of Dig Sideline Podcast. As always, we are your hosts. I am Sam DeCosmo. And my name is Patrick Lonia. Pat, so we wanted to take this opportunity on the bye week to just kind of take a look back on the Vikings season and go through the highs and lows and just relive the moments. Let's just talk about it. Let's cry. Let's <laughs> cry. <laughs> Pat, we're sitting at eight and three. I want to dance. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I, I want to cry over the first four weeks of the season. Okay. <laughs> no, let, okay. let's just get into it. So, okay. So let, do we remember when we were watching Atlanta? Oh, right. That first game. That, not, we were, not even the first game. We were so young. Not, we were so young. We were so fresh. Alive, <laughs> rejuvenated. Not even the first game, the first play. The first play. Anthony Barsack on Matt Ryan. Yes. I'm watching oh, with all of you DeCosmo boys. It. We're giving each other hugs. We're ready to yes, go. Yes, we're ready to go. <laughs> so we started off on a very high note. Very high note. And our defense actually did well yeah. that game. We held them to 12 points. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and, we uh, thought that, you know, they're, they're the team that yeah. we thought that they were. And you know what? That We don't remember that game. Kirk Cousins only had 98 <laughs> yards. And he, I think he had like nine passes, like, or That's 10. That's right, because <laughs> Dalvin Cook just like ran yeah, all yeah, over yeah, yeah. everyone. And we were like, okay. And that was also Alexander Madison's coming out That's party. That's true. Yeah. You know? That was, he, yeah, right. It was the game he showed us all. He was for real. Right. We were feeling so good. We yeah, won. we were on top of the world. Next week. Next week. Oh gosh. You know what? I. It was. It was. There's a lot of emotions in this. There's one. a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. And you know the a lot of emotions that came fast. Yeah. They came fast at you because on the very first three drives the Packers scored three touchdowns. Yeah. Right. It was, but guess what? It was not. Yeah. Guess what? We stopped them the rest of the way. Yeah. Zimmer made adjustments. We. Our offense wasn't capable of of overcoming it yeah. yet at that point. Right. Uh, well, but we, well, but we stopped them. I want to say we did. We were robbed of a touchdown. I'm sorry. You know what? You're right. We were robbed of a touchdown. I forgot about that. And I recognize the that offensive pass interference that wasn't dude. even challenged. The refs just went back to confirm it was a touchdown. And I know that that's in the oh my rule gosh. book. No, now. but that's not. But that's no, not no, no, the no. point. Right. I still want to argue that because yeah. it's not. Yes, you confirm that the that the ball crossed the plane and that it's a touchdown and that the runner wasn't down. But you don't look for other extraneous penalties. Yeah. Like, right. That's, that's not. That's, that's not how exactly. you're doing. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. I think that was our frustration with it. Yeah. And not to mention, like Packer players after the game were shocked. Yeah. They couldn't believe that that was called. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if I remember right, I think we would have been leading at that point. Yeah, we would have But been. we had to get three. Um, and then also, we can't. who can forget uh, Kirk Cousins' blunder in the back of the end zone? Well, we have forgotten. We're eight and three. But let's, let's forget it. Let's forget <laughs> it. I'm just going through the emotions. Because <laughs> I was not You know happy. what? I, I genuinely, I did forget because you brought that up and I was like, what is he? Yeah. Oh. That was, yeah. 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 That, that was what and, happened inside my head. And you want to know that same drive? That was the drive that we were rushing with Cook. The entire way down the yep. field, and then we decided to go to let's, pass. Let's pass it here. <laughs> Anyways, yes. and then we've got John Gruden and the Raiders coming to town. We're, we're, so we're, we're rolling into week three. We're one and one. Roll them. Which, by the way, I'm not looking back on that game. We were like, oh yeah, Raiders are not a good team. You know, let's roll over them, and we did. But looking back on it, I have the Raiders actually winning that division, and that's controversial. But they're on a roll right now. Yeah, no, they uh, are. I, I, I think that they'll beat the the Chiefs, and I think that they'll have a better record than the Chiefs. I think I have them going twelve and four. Yeah. So the, the I mean, the Raiders turned out to be a good team. They yeah. weren't in the moment, but they figured out something. They turned it on. Uh, but again, we were able to right. to do our thing, and we we rang their bell. Yeah, thirty four points. I think that was the right. first time our offense put up thirty plus right. points. And now I think that was another Cook coming out party yeah. there again. Not yeah. that he needs to come out, but he had one hundred ten on the on the ground there. Right. Um. So there's not much talk about that with that one. And then we go into Chicago, sixteen to six. Pat. Oh, I, mean, I want to remind you of the box score: sixteen to six. It was only want, a ten point you, deficit. Wait, wait. It was, you, it was only a ten point. Hang on, deficit. hang on, hang on. Ten points. Do you want to do this again? <laughs> You Pat. want to do this again? It was a 10-point deficit. With better lighting now and more. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're reflecting on the season. You know what? Let's, re- you know what? Let's scrap what we're doing. Let's reflect <laughs> on how far we've come. No. <laughs> yes, we've added lights. What else do we For have? anyone who hasn't noticed, yeah. the lighting has touched our hearts. It's made a difference for us. 16-6, uh, to six, Pat. 16-6. Sure. to six. I'll, I'll give it to Two you. Two scores. But, but that was... We played, we played horrible. Game. We, played, okay. we played horribly. That was, again, another we adjusted too late, and we kept trying to run the ball in the trenches, was, and there was no moving that ball. It was in Soldier ball. Field. We've never played well in Soldier Field. It was against a quarterback yeah. we didn't prepare for. Not to mention uh, that, that is better than their starter, which, by the way, let's. I just want to reflect uh, RIP Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, he, you lasted a season and, and three quarters in the Bears. They benched him. No, and, no, no. They didn't bench him. No, he had a hip 
He had a hip issue. They didn't bench the him. No, 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 no. Bears no, no. PR said he had a hip injury. He Come did, on. but Matt Nagy. No. no, no, no. Matt Nagy. He pulled them. Matt Nagy shows up to all these conferences or press conferences, whatever he's doing, and he is he is a hun- He will live and die by by uh, Mitch Trubisky. I don't care. He's gonna live and care. die by this guy because he's trying to defend his coaching decision. To take your That's starting quarterback saying. out when you're trying to make a game salvaging drive. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying this guy has too much freaking pride. He you does. Just, you bench him and you put in the next guy because it's not working with Trubisky. Yeah, exactly. It's just not. He does not have a hip injury. I mean, he might. No, have something I think that's he nag- does, dude. He does. He might have something that's nagging him, but it's not something that's going to prevent him from playing. I think it's significant enough to not play him. I think Matt Nagy would have played him that whole game. Yeah, no, for sure. I disagree with you on that, but we'll move on from that. Um, so anything else with that Chicago game? I mean, you know Matt what? The Khalil- Vikings at this point are two and two, and you know yeah. what? When else the Vikings were two and two during our thirteen and three run in two thousand seventeen? Yeah. Oh, you know what? We almost forgot to talk about. What? Here we had we had uh, some angry Viking players. We had yes. Adam Thielen Adam and Stephon Diggs, Diggs speaking out. Oh, who could forget the the Saying Stephon Diggs rumors, just, the trade rumors? You, yes, who who can forget? <laughs> Dude, who can forget? We've really we've really put that behind us. Oh, I know because we're sitting at eight and three. Well, and now uh, the, the after this game that uh, against the Broncos, uh, Stephon was like, "Y'all don't give Kirk enough credit when he plays good." You, he goes, you, you, "Yeah, you're all right. no, you're all sure. over him when he's playing yeah. bad, but you don't give him enough credit when yeah. he's playing good." Right. And so I was like, "Man, how?" How quickly the culture can yeah. turn around. No, it's true. And, and it's funny he says that because things didn't seem too happy with Kirk Cousins with no. the wide receivers there. Again, that was probably more the, the coaching. It was, it was the co- more, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, coaching, it, was, yeah. it was the coaching. And, and it was Adam right. Dillon saying, you can't run the ball 40 times a game. But you got to throw it every now and then. Let, let's quick talk about, though, those feelings that we had in our gut when, when you start seeing these, even if you don't believe in them, you just keep seeing trade rumors. You see just... Yeah. You know all these these pegs, all these teams, all at least all these teams are their own newscasts yeah. are putting their name out there. You know, but uh, but so that was a fun little uh, little thing going yeah. on there through four weeks. Yeah, you know, and then we traveled to New York. We traveled to New York, and we needed that. We did. I think I t- I think I I think I texted you after that game. I said we needed that. I need I needed that. Yeah, <laughs> just to like get over the hump. You know, yeah, right. It's here. <laughs> It's their uh their their rebounding, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> Just let's beat up on a bad team and feel yeah. good about ourselves. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah, and then the Eagles have yep. the audacity to come Dude. back to Minneapolis after winning Super Bowl fifty two, thinking they can win a game in Minneapolis and they can't. And do you remember? Uh, I can't even remember his name because he got released. But he talked some mad trash about oh, Kirk Cousins Zach before Brown. the game. Zach Brown, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Zach Brown, <laughs> the Zach Brown incident. And then Cousins goes out and throws four TDs, three hundred and thirty-three oh yards. Oh my gosh, thirty-eight to twenty. Yeah, get out of town. get out of town. And Diggs had himself a game there too. He had three touchdowns and one hundred sixty-seven yeah. yards. Yeah. Oh, it was that was that was a fun one. To that watch. was a fun one. Yeah. The next one was a little bit more stressful. Yeah, division a- game on the road. In Detroit, we're 0 2 in the division at this point. Don't know what's going to happen. The Lions have, you know, won a few games, lost some really close ones. They have a tie. Yeah, they're they're battling every game, and you just don't know how how these are going to shake out. I've said it, and I'll say it again. I don't care who, what the, well, I don't care what point of the season it is. I guess maybe the point of the season matters a little bit, but I don't care what the division rival records are. They are going to fight like it's. This is to win the division. Oh, yeah. You know? There's so much pride There's on so the line. There's so much pride on the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes division Absolutely. games so much fun. I know. Yeah. I know. And you I have know. to have division games. It's, it's great. Yeah. Right. So that, that was a that was a very hard fought game. Quick, and on that note, though, that's why I have a problem with how the NFL's been doing things lately. They've been doing a lot of division games at the start of the year. Like week yeah. one, week two. Well, at least how they've been doing it in the NFC North. We had a division game last night, you know. But at least in the NFC North, you're right. They stacked them all at well, the, the beginning. It was Packers Bears again yeah. week yeah. one again. Yeah. So, you know, it's like... That's where I was referring to the yeah. time of the year does make a little bit of yeah. difference. But anyways. So, yeah. So, Zimmer's defense let the Lions score 30 points. And Dude. I think that's less of a testament to how, how Zimmer's defense has been performing. Mm-hmm. But just a testament to the Lions offense. You know, they they have some legitimate weapons. They still had carry on Johnson at the time. You know, he's out with an injury now. They still have Matt Stafford, who's out with an injury now. Mm-hmm. They have Danny Amendola. They have Kenny Galladay. They have Marvin Jones. They have a lot of, of legit threats. Um Who's their tight end? Was that the Hawkinson ah, yep. that they got from Iowa? He's a legit threat. They they got a lot of threats, and the, you know they're they're a dang good football team. Um, you know Zimmer's defense isn't off the hook. Thirty points is thirty points. Yeah, but still, um, and it's it's going to be tough when we play them here on December eighth. Right, and you know what? I'm going to be honest. That could have been a game we could have easily lost. It very well could have been. If I'm and not, that could have changed the whole tone because all yeah. of a sudden we have a losing record. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, before Diggs had that long, deep bomb that he yeah. caught on a play action, yeah. the game was closer than, it's, than it shows. Close. But 
And then Thursday Night Football came. Thursday Night Football, Washington Redskins. Oh, we're going to blow them out of the water. We might as well not even watch. If the game wasn't on primetime, we probably wouldn't. We didn't say that. No, I know, but that was, like, that was the vibe. It was, oh, yeah, I was going to say. We're just going to steamroll these guys, yeah. you know, go into our mini bye week. It's at home. Well, that was our first Whatever. trap game of the year that we were playing. That was our first trap. And it was. darn well was. You know what? Yeah, yeah it absolutely. Because we played like crap. It, we, we did. And again, we showed some resiliency. Kirk showed that he could play in primetime. Um, but yeah, we played but, like, so we, speaking of the resiliency though, is it going to be a little too late when it comes to playoff football? That's my question, Sam. I know in the in the regular season, I think you can still pull off the last, the last it might be, but the resiliency, Washington, go ahead. No, the, so the Washington and then the Denver game too. I'm saying like, I think in the regular season, you can pull that off much more frequently than you can in a playoff game. I see. I don't know. Resiliency has a lot to do with your mental state. And when you tell yourself, We've never come back from twenty to nothing before. But not just you know? mental state. But now, but now you know you can. You're gonna go out yeah. there and you're no, gonna fair. fight that's like fair. Yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, that's fair. No, that's true. Yeah, you know you've done it before. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. My only knock to that is that it's a twelfth man game, so you need everybody's head to be in the yeah, game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but yeah, no, absolutely. for sure. So then we go to Kansas City, and the Vikings traveled so well for that game. We were both in Kansas City. I was yeah. watching from the TV. You were in the stands, and you said there was four Vikings fans for every six yeah. Chiefs fans. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, we were doing the skull chant. We were doing it. We played a pretty good game. Yeah, we did. Uh, right up until the, those last two mm -hmm. drives when we had those stupid three and outs. Um, you know, it, and it was tied until the very end, and Harrison Butker kicked a walk-off yeah, game right. winner. And it was close, and, you know, at the time, I, again, I don't have the Chiefs winning their division, but they're a really good football team. Tyreek Hill was healthy that game. You had Travis Kelsey healthy that game. Pat Mahomes was out, but still, you have these deep threats, and you're at home in Arrowhead. And it was... I do want to say, though, that put us at 0-2 against backup quarterbacks. It's not it a fun stat to say. Yeah. And I know any given Sunday, but I don't like that stat. No. We almost made it 0-3. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, that was that was a it it was a fun game. It so, what I liked about that game was it was it was clean in that there wasn't you know I feel like the Kansas City fans welcomed the Vikings fans with open arms. It felt like a fun you know it was competitive but still fun and not you know you, yeah you know, no. people weren't getting personal with well it, you know? well hang on hang on hang on let me let me fix that statement yeah, tell there. your story so it was. Everything was fun and, and non-personal up until we started doing the skull chant at the game. <laughs> then <laughs> then they start. then they started hating us. They're like, then they became minute. then they became extremely rude. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So and justified. Well, yeah. If if the Chiefs come into to US Bank Stadium, no, right, and they're no, like, no, 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 no. I, yeah. Uh, oh, I'd probably be I'd bad too. so mad. Yeah. You no, know? it's justified for sure. It's one hundred percent justified. Yeah. And I might argue that we almost added fuel to their fire by starting that school chant. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's okay. But I, what I wanted to quick say was we could easily be sitting at nine and two right now. Yeah. You know, let's, easily. let's turn that one around and give us a win there. We yeah. have the, the last one, two, three, four, five. I'll, I'll do you one better. What's up? We could have, we could be easily sitting at 10 and one right now. Give us that touchdown on the Packers game, which was BS. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Let's, uh, let's give us a win against Chicago. Trubisky stays in the game. Trubisky stays in the game, and the Vikings are 11-0. We're riding high. Number one in the NFL. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that just be funny? Oh, Packer fans are going to add us after that. Oh, oh the I, hope they do. I hope they do. All right, so then Sunday Night Football in yep. Jerry World against the Cowboys. Another hot. That was another game down to the wire. That was another. It was a fun one, though. Think about this. Kansas City, Dallas, and Denver all came down to the wire. Yeah, because in Dallas here, the Kansas or Dallas was uh, Eric Hendricks with that stop on fourth down. Yeah, well, yeah, that was a beautiful pass breakup by yeah. the way. But that's just a testament to saying, hey, these are good teams, right. and we're able to beat them. You know, the 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 narrative throughout, uh, you know, all the off season, even up to the season, up to the point, it was. Oh, Kirk Cousins can't beat a uh, a team with a winning record. Kirk Cousins can't beat anyone in prime yeah. time. And I love, and we brought it up on the podcast, but I love when Michelle Tafoya after the after the Cowboys game when the Vikings won, she was like, you know, Kirk. People say you can't win in prime time. You just won in prime time. What do you have to say to them? He's like, I didn't do shit. Yeah, Vikings won in prime time. Yeah, he's you the know? team win. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, right, right. So I I just but so but I, what I do want to quick say though is you know you can't be. You can't point the finger at people who are just stating statistical facts. Right. Yeah. So, no. I mean, you agree with that, right? Yes, but there's so many freaking statistics. You can pull <laughs> anything out of, you know, it's like, 
It's okay, I, but I don't know. okay, you can't argue that those aren't the. We're pointing at the most important statistics: primetime games against winning teams. It's, it's all that is. So I, I think you're. While you're in the right, I think you're also a little bit on the wrong. I, okay, I do I'll, you agree? I'll give you that. Because it's not like it's I'll not give like we're you that, pulling out this. The NFL just beats us over the head with statistics, and it's like I get it, you know. But it's yeah. like, yeah, but I mean, I mean that's right. all win, we're coming from. That's win a, yeah. loss record. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, right. That's an I, I do want to say one more thing. Now that I've reflected on the whole year, and, and this is just a, a moment of reflection. Um, if I could just have some yeah, peace and please, quiet. please. <laughs> Um, yeah, on that note, I, I, what I've been doing wrong with Kirk Cousins, here's what I want to say. And, and I want to speak to the majority of Viking fans here. Okay. Okay. Here, here's what's been, what's been done wrong for Kirk Cousins. And I, I don't think his guaranteed contract helped his case at all. But everybody has been expecting Kirk Cousins to be this quarterback that he's just not. He's not. Oh, your eyes are getting a little big there. <laughs> he's not a quarterback who is going to go out and rally the troops on the sideline no 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 don't look no 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 he doesn't do any of that he's a guy let me yeah let me finish then you can rebuttal here he's a guy who doesn't have that x factor he just when i look at him sometimes i look at him and i'm just mad i just look at this guy's face and because because he just has like this perfect face you can tell the chiseled beard, all of it. Like, he, and he's a good guy. That's what I love about him. He's a good family guy. But here's he's he, a good guy. So, yeah, yeah. He, but here's what I'm getting at. And what I'm saying though is, in today's NFL with the Lamar Jacksons and the Mahomes and how we compared this player to that player, that's what I've been doing wrong. I've been expecting him to do something that he he's doesn't. It's not in his genetics. Totally, one hundred percent disagree with you. You know what, what? What do you disagree listen, about that? Listen, oh, wait, 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 one, one more thing. One, one more thing. Okay, one more thing. Say, one more thing. say one more thing. Don't please don't make this a thing where you're the better Vikings fan. No, 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 no. no. I, no, I need to say about, that because this that. is the vibe I get when I talk no, to no, you. No, sometimes. no, no. It's not about that. I, I, I understand what you're saying. I'm just going to rebut you. Please. Kirk Cousins is not Leslie Frazier. Leslie Frazier would sit there on the sidelines. What? Wait, why? Totally wait, emotional. Wait, 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 wait. Because you were saying Kirk Cousins, he's he's not gonna a guy to rally the troops. He's not gonna, you know. And that was Leslie Leslie Frazier sat there with no emotion. And Kirk is not that guy. He's not. That's, so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm expecting him to be that guy. No, oh, oh. no, no. I'm saying he is that guy. No, he's he, not. He does. He doesn't necessarily. He's not rallying the troops with like you know getting. And he does. And get maybe people he worked does. Up. Maybe he, he does, does in the huddle. Sure. But you know what? He does something better than that. He rallies the troops with how he plays. I look at the Denver game that we just watched. You know, I think that's how the Denver game is the microcosm you, of our of our season. Okay, and again, this again, this is what I'm getting at. I just I still don't think it's in his blood to it do what I'm referring is. to. No, no, no. Because you want to know who was uh, there's a video of the big screen and who's who's jumping around talking to every freaking player. You want to know who was? Who was Stefan Diggs? Yeah, I, yeah. Because the, because that's who Stefan Diggs is. I and that's what I'm saying. Listen, but no, listen, I'm listen, no, no. Listen, <laughs> listen. Kirk doesn't need to be that guy because Stefan Diggs is that no, guy. No, he does because he's the quarterback. He's the leader of the team. He's the general. He's the commander. That's what he's supposed to do. You know what he's doing? And you know he, what he's doing? What? He's over there talking to Stefan. Fansky no, he's about not. How are we going to adjust our game plan to win this game while Stefan Diggs rallies the troops? That's fine. And again, and I, I believe that everybody has their their role. I think I think Thielen and Diggs are exactly what you're referring to. I wouldn't mind it if I saw Kirk Cousins, like just look red in the face on the sideline, like just like just I don't know. Even against Kansas City, he was just sitting there, just sitting there here, by himself here, with the, here's with the, the playbook thing. thing. Here's the thing: that level of passion can do two things. Number one. It can make you play lights out like you're going to just, you know, throw for 200 yards in the fourth quarter, three touchdowns and win the game in the fourth quarter. Or it's going to make you play angry and upset and not sharp and you're going to make mistakes. And I would rather take a guy that is going to remain consistent, calm, cool and collected in the pocket and do what he needs to do rather than having a guy that's going to, you know, win us the game half the time and lose us the game half the time. I, I wholeheartedly agree. But what I'm getting at is <laughs> I've been expecting him to do something that he – and he does it in his own way. He, he does, does it in his, he he does does it in his own way. what we're referring to in his own he way. Does, you don't see Aaron Rodgers rallying the troops on the on the sideline when I they're know, down. I know. Well, because Aaron Rodgers is a god. You, can't, you don't see don't, Tom Brady. No, no, but, but, you don't but, see no, Tom, no, 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 no. Do not you don't compare, see Tom Brady doing that. No, don't compare Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers to Kirk Cousins. You know who you see doing, you, you know who you see doing that? You see the younger guys. You see the Carson Wentz's, the Deshaun uh, Watson's. 
the uh, Lamar Jackson. So it's in the you, new era of football or what? Yeah, the, the younger guys. Yeah. No, no, not not necessarily the new era of football. Just the younger guys that have a, a little bit more like fire. They're coming out, out of the college, you know, it's, yeah. uh, So is atmosphere. it wrong that I want that for Kirk Cousins? Is that wrong? Am I in the wrong for wanting him to, to like... I do. I telling, want a guy who's going to be cerebral about it. That's who's not going to lose no, 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 his cool. No, I, and I'm not. I'm not asking him to like knock over, do but some OBJ stuff where he's knocking over Gatorade cans and he's cussing, and he's throwing. You know, that's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I just. I wish I could see a little bit of more emotion. Just a little. All bit. right. Well, let's talk. Uh, so we we, we, we talked. We talked the Cowboys game. Let's talk the Broncos game because yeah. I think that what he did in the Broncos oh, game sure, trumps okay. emotion. Down twenty to nothing going into the half. Wait, but you're not you're not saying this is a Kirk Cousins win. I think this is a Kirk Cousins win. Absolutely, you're one hundred. You're, you're I think it's, it's only on Kirk win. Cousins. It, no, I, oh, I'm okay. not putting it on Kirk Cousins. What well, it's a team win. Oh, for sure, it's I, a team win. Yeah. but we don't make that team win if Kirk Cousins isn't our quarterback. Sure, fair. Maybe, yeah, sure. You know, yeah, Aaron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Aaron Rodgers could do it. Right. I don't think Tom Brady could have made that comeback. Uh, Twenty-eight to three. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Again, that in was in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that was like three years ago, and Tom Brady's aging exponentially. I don't care. Here we go again. This is the Drew Brees Tom oh Brady conversation. <laughs> Drew Brees doesn't make that game. That doesn't rally the troops for that game. Sam, you can't say stuff like that. He, it's asinine. <laughs> you cannot no, say stuff Pat, like that. Pat, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> there are very few guys in the NFL that can that can go along with the, with the team. It was a team win, but you don't get that team win without no, Kirk Cousins. No, 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 no. Kirk. <coughs> Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> Kirk Cousins, you want to bring up stats? Yeah, I want to bring up stats. What was he? Third, three for twenty-eight. This is this is the exact game that we are referring to. I just ended the conversation. <laughs> you have nothing that you can say back. There's nothing you can say oh, back. Oh, Pat. No, no, no. no. Pat, 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 Pat. You can't Pat. sit here and tell me that Kirk Cousins is the only guy who could have done this when he hasn't done it his whole career. And what I'm getting at, though, is that the pieces that are in place for this team allowed him to succeed. Go ahead. I want it. you to name me five quarterbacks in this league that could do what Kirk Cousins did on Sunday. Lamar Jackson? No, absolutely not. Are you Down high? 20 to nothing? Are you are kidding you, me? Are you kidding You're me? You're trying to tell me that Lamar He's, Jackson no, couldn't do that. Maybe, maybe in 10 years he can do that, but right now he doesn't have the mental fortitude to do that. He's too young. Are you out of your <laughs> mind? Pat. Are you seeing what Lamar saying, Jackson on Sunday? Yeah. But what I'm saying is he wouldn't have been in the situation in the first place. Okay, yeah, but let's say he is. You're he, saying he's not coming he's back. He's not coming back you're from saying, 20 to nothing. Are he's you, not, are you he's not joking going back me? From 20 to, he's not going to be in a situation where he's 20 to nothing, right. but he's not coming back. When we from make clips for this, I am going to at Lamar oh Jackson. I hope to God he watches. Okay, that's my first. No, I, but I want you to caveat on that. That they're not gonna the, the Ravens aren't gonna find themselves in a situation where it's no, where and it's that's zero, fair, but, but they're down it, twenty points. But that, what happened to the Vikings can happen to anyone in football. That's what I'm saying. So it sure. happens. It happens. And I'm saying, yeah, and, and I'm if saying, it happens, they're not digging themselves you're telling out of that me, hole. You're telling me with that stellar defense, because they're playing pretty darn well this year. Lamar Jackson, Mark no. Ingram, um, they've got a great wide receiver, or uh, running back, I'm sorry, tight end. They've got uh, Hollywood, wide receiver. He's playing listen, lights out. Listen, they've got a listen, phenomenal listen, squad. Listen, listen, listen. If they find themselves in a hole of 20 to nothing, something's obviously gone wrong with their offense. And so you're saying if it's 20 nothing and a half, they can't Lamar Jackson no, and those boys because can't sit there just like the Vikings did and regroup if, and if come for back. Some re- no, because if how, some- how can we sit here and say every Sun every every any given Sunday and and you say that you say just no no I'm no. Just, listen listen Pat I'm saying if you plug Lamar Jackson into the Vikings offense he doesn't succeed in that comeback. Wait, why are we putting him in the Vikings offense? Because I, I said name five quarterbacks that we could put into the Vikings offense, well, but to- that doesn't make any sense. Why? Why, are we, why, did, why does that make any sense? Why are we? Why are we? Because you're because you're saying is Kirk Cousins the guy? I'm confused now. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> You've got my head so wrapped around itself right now that I'm confused. I'm referring to quarterbacks on their given teams right now. No, no, so, no. Okay, but no I'm on. saying I'm saying put a quarterback so, on the Vikings. Okay, put a, put then, a, then I'm gonna say. Hell yes. If Lamar Jackson has Stefan Diggs, a healthy Adam Thielen, Irv Smith, Kyle Rudolph, Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison. Who else am yeah, I? Our team I... is great. Our team's great. I give it to you. Huh. Yeah. But Lamar Jackson doesn't have the mental fortitude to come back from 20 to nothing. What does that even mean? He's a professional athlete. How can you say he doesn't have the mental fortitude? What does that mean? He's, he's just, he's a young guy. He's a young guy and they're being successful. And oh. he, he doesn't understand what, what being unsuccessful is yet. 
Okay, I will give you that, but we just haven't seen. We don't have enough footage to, sure. to truly All talk right. on this. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, because I think I'll, he's I'll a special you player. Get, give me four more. Patrick Mahomes. No. Are, dude, are you? Are, okay, you are making Mahomes. me okay, sick maybe, right maybe now. Patrick Mahomes. Maybe Patrick Russell Mahomes. Wilson. Russell Wilson. Okay. Okay. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. And I want to say one more, but you're just gonna all over the mic. Is it? Are you? Gonna, are you trying to say Drew Brees? I'm saying Drew Brees. No, 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 no. That's not. I I, I don't agree with that. He, he even, did, even he if did. I did agree, even if I did agree with that, you named four quarterbacks that are entrenched in their franchises. I'm saying who could we have? Who, when we were getting Kirk in free agency, who else was available? Who else was available that could do what Kirk did? Who could the okay, Vikings yeah. have turned no, no, no. to? Okay, now, you, now you're just flipping the script on me. I, we, this was not part of the discussion. <laughs> this is not part of the discussion. But it, it has to be a part of the okay, discussion. Well, now that we're it talking has to be about part it. Of the discussion. It has to be a part of the discussion. Yeah, but Because who's who else could do it? Who else could the Vikings have brought in to do this? I'm not. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't know that that was our topic. I thought it we wasn't. Were just, it no, wasn't. You're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're right. It sure. wasn't. Okay, you want to ask me the question again with what we had for free agency? <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, there was no one else that we could have got. And and that was the going rate for quarterbacks at the time. I know. And yeah. honestly, Kirk Cousins, he's probably like not even in the top 10 for quarterbacks who are getting paid right now. Yeah. No. He might be. I don't know. Yeah. But he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even think he's top five. Yeah. Can I quick say that this is my favorite podcast episode? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! Did we talk about Denver? Yeah, we kind of uh, did. Yeah, yeah everyone we, just watched that game too. <laughs> oh man! All right, so so just get so okay. Pat, just Pat get, and I obviously have some things we need to work out. Maybe we need to get a counselor in here. And no, we and don't. I think this was we're, this is good. Work through this some is, things. How boring again would this be if we? Agreed you know on what? Anything? I just I I just need to determine whether you know because like I said. I said if Kirk Cousins can get us to the postseason, I'll buy a Kirk Cousins jersey. I just needed to, to know if I'm getting a purple jersey, a white jersey, or a color rush jersey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we just clear the air too? Um, so am I doing the Sandejo jersey? No, well, I won't make you sp- – we won't go all the way down. I'll, maybe no. a Sandejo t-shirt. You're getting a jersey? A I'll, get a, I'll jersey? get a jersey. Okay, get, so it's been a few years since I've bought You're not going to make me get a jersey for someone who's uh, probably not going to be on the team next year? <laughs> No. Yeah, I'm throwing shade still. <laughs> maybe, maybe a t-shirt. Maybe a t-shirt. Okay. Some sort of... Okay, sounds good. Yeah, okay, anyways. All right, so join us next time on Dig Sideline Podcast. We'll be previewing the Monday Night Football game against the Seattle Seahawks. And yes. until then, Skull Vikings. Skull Vikes. Skull Vikes.